so not much has changed, it's business as usual. Here are two great stories from this week's office meeting. A listing agent in our office announced an interesting sale, a gorgeous high-end home right close to downtown Menlo Park that has been on the market for over five and a half months, which is a long time for our marketplace. After a price reduction, a significant price reduction, two sets of buyers who had been circling the property with interest for some time both decided to jump in and make an offer. And the listing agent was finally able to get it into contract with multiple offers. Another great story, one of our agents reported she was representing a buyer on a property in Redwood City's Woodside Plaza and there was more than one interested buying party at the negotiating table. Her offer was not the highest, but it was the winner because it was clean with no contingencies and really strong, offering a quick two-week close. We agents do make a difference in the outcome. There is much brouhaha in the real estate industry over a recent highly publicized lawsuit out of Missouri, the Sitzer Burnett case, which in a nutshell is centered around agent commission. It's important for sellers to know that commission is always negotiable. Strong conscientious agents explain to their clients how the commission is to be broken out and shared with buyer side, a cooperative business practice that ultimately benefits the sellers. This should all be discussed at the onset of their listing agreement. The verdict is currently under appeal and it will likely take time to be resolved. But if you have any questions about the commission structure, how it breaks out and works and how it benefits the sellers, call your agent. Or if you're not working with a great local realtor, you can always reach out to me. Join me again for more Bay Area market updates right here on Real Time Real Estate, Silicon Valley.